the first step in creating a mailing is selecting those members that I would like to send the mailing to. I've already created a saved search for this, so I'm going to rerun my saved search. To access my saved search, I go to the search menu and at the bottom of the list, click Saved. The name of my saved search is St. Paul OK to Mail. To access it, I click on the Edit icon. This opens up my saved search and I can now replay it. The saved search saves my search criteria. It does not save a list of members. So rerunning the search will include any new member records I have that meet my search criteria. To make the results my current selection, all I need to do is click on the number of members. Now that I've made these members my current selection, the first thing that I would like to do is download their information so that I can create a mail merge. To do this, I go to Members, Download. This will take me to a screen where I can choose which information from the records I would like to download. Since I'm just doing a mail merge, I'm going to deselect the phone and email options. Scrolling further down the page, because I'm creating a mailing, I'll want to household the records. Householding ensures that each mailing address only receives one letter from you. Multiple members with the same address will be combined on the first line of the mailing. If I'm using a computer that is not Windows based, I will want to change the file type to the matching one for my operating system. Clicking download will then create the file. To download this file, I right click on the name of the file and because I'm using Firefox I will choose Save Link As. If I was using Internet Explorer I would choose Save Target As. This will then download this file to my computer. To download this file I right click on the file name and because I'm using Firefox I'll choose Save Link As. If I was using Internet Explorer I would choose Save Target As. Clicking Save Link As will open up a dialog box where I can choose where I would like to save this file on my computer. Next, I'm going to create some mailing labels. Because I already have the same members in my current member selection, I can jump directly to creating my mailing labels. To do this, I'll go to the communication menu and choose mailing labels. The first thing that I want to do is choose what type of labels I'm going to use. Next, because I'm doing a mailing, I'm going to combine my selected records as householded records, just like I did when downloading the information. Clicking Submit will create a file containing the labels. I can either view the labels in my browser or download the file. I'm going to view the labels. The system has now formatted the information so that I can directly print my mailing labels. It has also householded the information. As an example, you can see that Jim Sample and Missy Sample are now included on the same mailing label. The last step in creating and sending a mailing is to create a contact note for all of those people who you've sent this mailing to. To do that, again because I have these members as my current selection, I can go to Members and Tag Selected. This process is very similar to creating a contact note in a single record, but instead now I can add a contact to all of the records in my current selection. 
Clicking Add Contact Records will then add a contact note to everyone in my current selection.